Hey guys, my name is Seniac and welcome back to another episode of Park Attack. So in the last episode, guys, we built our brand new steel roller coaster, which is super amazing. It's got so many loops in it, it's just crazy right now. Everyone seems to love it, and we got some good reviews on it too. We also built our brand new little bumping boat section in the lake or the river all the way on the opposite side of the park which is pretty cool and as always I asked you guys to give me some name suggestions for these two brand new rides in the comment section down below. And we got some good ones. I like them. I really do like them. The first one is from Connor Den Den Denner. I think that's how you say it. I'm very terrible at names. I do apologize if I got it wrong. But he says to rename the bumping boat to the bumping. Wait for it. Wait for it. If I can write it right. Bumping fools. I like it. I like it a lot. So that's one there for Connor. And we've also got another one for the steel roller coaster. And this is from AC Life. And he says to rename the steel coaster to Loopy Fools. Which I thought was pretty cool because the amount of loops it's got in here. Loopy Fools. Loving it. So guys, whatever rides and all the rides and pretty much we build today. The brand new rides that we build today. Give me some name suggestions in the comment section down below for those. Now, before we get into building some rides, guys, I kind of experimented a little bit with kind of this underground path system that filtered over here to the shops and stores. And since then, I've realized, well, we realized after I built it, if I go to the park utilities, I can create a depot and like, you know, transport tubes and whatnot to get stuff delivered to it. And I feel like we need to get that in and get rid of this tunnel because it's terrible. So what we need to do then is go underground slightly and we need to get rid of all of this, unfortunately. It's all now going. It's all going, guys. It's all going. And we're going to replace it with the, um, the kind of transport chute system. And what that does is it kind of creates a depot. If you think about it, we've got a little, like a depot here of, of stuff. What it then does, it creates like another depot somewhere else and then pushes the resources down a tube to that depot and then all they got to do is walk here deliver it to a shop rather than walking all the way down there going under the whole underground tunnel system it makes so much more sense the only issue is now i've just got to get rid of all this guys right it's all gone it's all gone it's gone it's all gone beautiful right so let's get back over here oh hold on pause it no i can't pause let's get path in Oh, I've got rid of some stuff, haven't I? I got rid of, like, trees and stuff. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me get this all back in. We can't have this happening, guys. Fences. We need the lower hedge fence. There and there. Perfect. Right, so if I go to the utilities and get a depot, and if I place a depot, let's place it... Hmm. Should we have it, like, here? No, let's place it there. So we, it's on the path. And then we need to make this kind of go underground. Right, so there's the tube network there that we want to kind of drag it down under to here. So is it connected? Yeah, it's now connected up, which is perfect. And where's the connection over here? Haha, <laughs> it's just there. So we'll make it go under to there. Get those guys connected. So now... We have an underground system that transports those goods to over here. We just now need to tell this depot what shops and what stores that it will supply. So if we select all these, every single one, obviously except the toilet, because we can't supply a toilet. Oh, we can supply that as well. And it would just be this one down here that gets supplied by the usual depot. So all i got to do now is walk here and deliver. Walk here. Deliver. Walk here. Deliver. How easy and much more simpler is that? The goods can get to the store a whole lot quicker, which is perfect for us. So with that said, let's get some extra stores in them. So we've got balloons. We've got bubble tea. Uh, do we have? Yeah, we got candy. We don't have a cash machine in just yet. We'll get that in eventually. Oh, we need a first aid room. All right, let's drop a first aid room in there for when people have got the boo-boos. Um, cotton candy, do we have that? No. Squeeze one of those in. We'll also get, uh, let's see, a fruit juice one as well. There we go. 
and we'll create some little paths to get to and from do those have little back entries no so it's just a way to kind of get the goods to the back of the store rather than in front of the store which is pretty handy for us so we got room there for one more there two three four five six so six more stores can eventually get in there but we got some new stuff in which is perfect right should we build a ride then i think we should get some rides in let's see what we can get in today wait, wait hold on let's see what people are saying about the park first they can't carry around these resource crates somewhere else now 21 people were complaining about that now we got these tubes that transport the goods over here um we shouldn't have that now happening we still got a few over here but they were there before they got transported over i assume so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens if it is actually physically working because i don't know so we'll find out at some point um right anyway so else what they're saying anyway apart from that uh, we're gonna get something to eat around here we're just placing some more shops anyway um a candy one and a drink one so hopefully that solves that we might need to think about dropping like another eating section but then again i'll probably do another big one over here we'll see we'll see how it goes there oh look at that okay it's got all the stock there right now which is handy perfect right let's get some rides in there let's start with a gentle ride now do we have a 4d cinema I don't believe we do, do we? We have the motion simulator, we just don't have a 4D cinema. Which, this is something that will be really good for when it starts raining. So, you know, because it's indoors. And it's quite a big building, isn't it? So maybe we kind of, oh, that would be perfect, squeezing it in up here. Yes, please. And then we'll have the entrance and exit just there. Meaning we, we finally get to extend this way a little bit too. So the path goes up to there and then we'll do the queue like that right let's see settings i, I kind of actually like the pattern the color it is right now which is pretty good stations add synchronized stations what does this do oh we can change the movie and stuff right we'll keep it on that what's the um okay it's three dollars we'll up it to four dollars to go on to it and we'll open it up so guys give me some name sessions for uh well one let me know what film we should show and then, based on what film we're showing, give me a good name suggestion for that film. So, we'll see what comes out with that, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. That'd be kind of cool. So, it is quite a spacey kind of themey stuff, isn't it? So, what could we get, like, in terms of decoration around it? Like, pro well, let me do the benches and stuff first. But like, I want to get some props and stuff around. So, drop a couple of benches in. Just there. And we'll do some up here, too. And we'll get some um, trash bins in. So we'll do one there. I do one there. Should we get some lights in too? We haven't got any lights in for a while. Get some lamps in. Just drop them every so often. Light up the path. And where else do we need to get some of these in? So we did get any around here. We, we didn't get any around here, did we? So I'm just going to drop a couple of these lights in just to light the place up a little bit. Beautiful. Right. In terms of decoration then, what can we get up and out here? So props. Let's look at props here. We could go sculptures. Uh, we could do some weird sculptures, couldn't we? Definitely some weird ones. I feel like we should um, do a little bit of sculpting around. kind of make it like look like it's indented inside of a mountain of some sorts there we go let's bring that up a bit there how does that look and then do a little one here too we'll try and keep that away from being in a tunnel Does that feel like it's round, surrounded by a slight mountain? It kind of does, doesn't it? I like the idea of it. Should we paint the floor? We've got some rock. How does the rock look? So I do like the basic here. That slightly goes under. And then we paint a few there.
and then just dot the odd one going through and round there. So turn a bit. Because you got to kind of like make it look like it's more natural than what it is. And just do some back here too. Oh, it's even quite cool, this spacey area. Right. Let's get rid of that. We're getting now some actual rocks. So some nature. I'm not going to do loads of rocks. I feel like flat rocks are probably the best way to go about doing this. There we go. Just kind of like jamming in. There we go. And then we do we do like some with a little bit of a bump, but like just generally smaller ones. That's nice. I want to keep this area slightly grey. And I want to go back to them sculptures, because these sculptures did look kind of cool. It's like if we had one there and there. That's pretty dope. Why well, we got small wires? Vases, we got caskets, candles, headstones. Nah, none of that. Medium stuff? Nah. Uh, lighting? Large. I don't want to go too big. Effects. Ooh, smoke emitter. Yes. Can I place it inside of the sculpture? Yes, looks like the sculptures are there smoking. We got fog as well. How does... What is that? Is it just like a box? Okay, fair enough. Fire jets. Nah, not fire. I like the fog. The smoke and fog. Spark emitters. Nah, we'll go for some more smoke ones. We'll place him in the... Oh, no. Damn it. I would say we'll place him in the rocks. So you kind of can't see them. So it, it does look like you're in space. Something's happening around here, guys. Something is legit happening around here. All right, do you reckon that's good enough? Yeah. I will kind of want one over here. I'll put it, place it like there. I need another rock, don't I? If I place that one there and get another rock down... There we go. Beautiful, guys. That's actually pretty dope, isn't it? That little area. With the smoke flying, the little particle effects. Brings it all to life. Right, that's a pretty cool ride then. Let's get something new in. So we've done a 4D cinema. Let's go a little bit crazy now for like a thrill ride. Should we get some goat cards in? Ah, oh, goat cards will be so good. Right, it just comes down to where we want to place the goat cards. I could do it here. Use this whole little section there as the golf cart... Goth cart? Go kart uh, track. That'd be kind of cool. So let's rotate that. Let's have it up here. Start there. And then build this. And we want quite a long little drag strip as we now go forward. So, what are the turns like? We can do, okay, long turns or small, short turns. Right, we'll do a long turn like this. There we go. So a nice little bend that will start to rise up. That just cuts in. And we'll make this go completely across. Oh, that's kind of cool how it would then go over that. But I want to go back a bit because I want it to cut in a bit more. Now start bending. There we go. Because I can bring it down to go under. That's actually kind of dope, isn't it? And we'll turn it around here. Turn it there. Now what's all this? Oh, you can make it bend in degrees and angles. That's kind of cool. So make it go straight there.
That's kind of great. It comes around and then you've got like a tight turn in. So build there. Once it gets to that point, we'll make it ramp up. To that stage. Ooh, I want it ramped up higher to do that though. Is it that one? No, this one. Bend down. There we go. Flatten it out. All right, let's wind it out now. Nah, I need to go back a bit more. Perfect. Look at that for a go-kart track. I'm going to say this right now. That looks kind of dope, doesn't it? Oh, I'd love to go on something like that. That would be so good. Right, entrance, and then the exit can be a bit further down. Right, we're going to charge big bucks for this. $5 to go onto it. Right, okay. So let's now work this out. Um, three laps, 21 trains, meaning 21 goat carts, I assume. Um, I won't open it just yet because I want to do all the path and stuff. But um, we want the path to connect up, don't we? So this is eventually going to also kind of continue to drag up. And I need to work out, because I want to do another one of these about here. So if we bring this up to here, and let's say, how much did I do? What was this like here? There was one, two, three. Okay, it's five. So if I do one, two, three, four, five. All right, this is where the next little food court area is going to be. So the path would go ultimately down here. And where does this go? So if we bring the, the well, that would kind of cut straight up like that. Which is, f that's fine. Fine, fine, fine. That will go that way. And obviously that will go that way. And we'll then we'll bridge it over eventually. So we want to create the queue for this. Now, I feel like this is going to have quite a big queue. So we're going to create a big queue for that because this is going to be something that's going to be mental. I just love how certain parts go over the water, just kind of cut over. It's so damn good. It's a shame it's raining as well because now, like, we can get some pretty cool stuff in. Like, hang on. We can get, like, isn't there, like, cones and stuff we can get in? It falls under props, doesn't it? Like, the driving stuff. Barriers. Road barriers. So we can get road barriers in certain spots. Oh, we can actually put it on the track. No way. There we go. Can I put it on, up at this stage? Yes, we can. Oh, my goodness me. Right, where else is a tight corner? There. I have no other tight corners, do we? Have we got any long ones? Yes! Oh, yes! Okay. So, this is something that we need. Oh, I can't get them in these ones, though, because of how they are. It's a little bit awkward, isn't it? We get normal straight road barriers, though. Oh, I was hoping I could drag it in, like, a fence. We'll just do some every so often. So I find it I find it really cool how we can throw that kind of stuff in uh, tires and barriers and traffic cones that's the other stuff we want to get in which is gonna like you know give us that additional detail There we go. We try to drop these in various spots as well. That's kind of cool. Um, tire stacks. 
<laughs> just drop a load in corners like that. We're well, just going to throw some, like on these little ledges. Because you have a lot of tyres, like around goat, goat cart tracks like that. So that's kind of dope. Uh, traffic cones. And we're just going to throw some in. Going all around this edge. Nice. Get some around this corner. And we'll throw some around this corner. Ooh, it's all coming together, guys. Put some down here. Going the whole hug. And uh, any other road stuff? Or is that just kind of all the road stuff that we kind of have? Which is not bad. I like these little, like, oh, these tire ones that are in the ground. That's perfect. Right. Let's get the general stuff in and the nature stuff, the trees and whatnot. So, uh, trees. Get some general trees in there. Get some of the smaller, squarey ones. Um, can I get some tall ones in? Yes. Turn it into a semi tree topiary forest. And then we'll just get the odd rock or two in. Not a lot of these. Let's get some flatter ones in. All it is is just to add that slight extra little bit of detail in. And just a couple of smaller ones there. Look at that corner. That whole corner looks perfect. Right, plants. Do I want any of this stuff in? Any plants or flowers or cactuses? Uh, not cactuses, no. Any topiary? Nah. Let me just check the plants one more time. We'll do the odd shrub. Again, just adds the extra level of detail. I can't wait to get this open and see people actually getting on this. It's going to be so good. Right, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Let's open it. To the public. There is a lot of cars. A lot of cars. It's going to be one hell of a race this is. One hell of a race. It's quite far out the way as well for the park. At the moment. Because everything's centralised over here. <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see what happens. And it's quite cool now not seeing the stores and stuff begging for like resources. That is so good, that area. That area is so good. I'm so impressed with it. So happy. Right, we just gotta wait for people now to get to it. So we'll fast forward them. Fast forward, no one's saying anything about it yet. I wanna go and go carts five. People are saying that. They'll get there eventually. Let's um place down now because it's gonna I know it's gonna happen. They're gonna complain about it. there's not enough stuff, so we're gonna get a few little lights down. And then once we got the lights we'll get the uh, benches there we go let's get some more benches in because they're only going to complain 
Also trash cans. There we go, that should be enough. So people are now queuing up for the ultimate ride of their life on the goat cart. So again, guys, give me some really cool name suggestions for the goat carts. Um, these are going to earn a lot of money. A lot of money. So it's going to be interesting to see how much money they do make. How many more people need to go? Oh, okay. Wow, that was loud. Off they go. Wow, this is so cool. It's so cool watching them race. They've got to go around three times. They've got three laps in them, which gives, obviously, the queue to build up. Gives it time to build up to get, like, a whole bunch of new people in. So it's not making profit just yet. We're probably up it to $6. There we go. See how much it uh, then makes. So, how many laps have they done now? There's the one in the lead. Do they stop now? Yes. So, we're going to see new people get on. The fool's go round is just broken. So, everyone off. Everyone on. So, I wonder what they said about this ride then. Uh, it was a really good deal, apparently. So the revenue and expenses hasn't really changed yet. So if it was a really good deal, well, could, could we charge $7? We'll see if we can get away with that. Right. I want to build one more ride. And I feel like we should go back to casual now. So let's see what we could throw in. What would be kind of cool? A spiral slide. Something nice and simple just to kind of drop here in this area. Uh, we'll do the entrance this side and the exit down there. We'll charge $2 to go on the slide. I'm going to open it up straight away. And then we'll do the exit that way. There we go, the path there. And let's get the odd tree or two around this then. So trees, where's them big beautiful square ones? So change up the styling a bit. We are going to create a miniature forest here. Right, keep that free because obviously we're going to have stores that go there. So then what we'll do, uh, plants, get some shrubs in. It reminds me of Wailing Woods on Fortnite, this area. There we go. Uh, a little bit of rocking. Again, it just adds to the detail. That's literally all this is. And then we do like a big one every so often. Kind of place it. In an open space. Well, we got quite a queue for that as well already. Um, right, structures. Let's look for... Not gates. We want walls. No, is it walls or fences? Fences, there we go. To do a nice little hedge fence. Just have it going round. And of course, you need to do the end bits. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Looking magnificent. Connect that up down to there. Right, we'll kind of stop it there. That's all good. I'm, I'm really enjoying this now. Right, last thing I want to do next. I got rid of that one tree. So I'm going to drop one back in. We'll go with this one. All good. So what are they saying about this then? 
They're saying it's an awesome ride. Uh, no one's complaining about the price, so I upped it for two fifty. What's the operating and running costs? So we're making more money than it's costing to run, which is good. What about this? Yeah, we're making more money than it's costing to run, and they're paying the price as well. So let's up it to seven fifty. And what they're saying about that? <clears throat> Because it's quite a big ride. They're doing three laps. And it's 21 vehicles at a time. So the maintenance costs are going to be quite high. And now it's raining. So nobody's going to want to go on it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, do people want to go on it when it's raining? It's not getting the usual complaint messages pop up. That you would normally see. But maybe we are. This is... Oh, did this crash? Or is it just literally broken down? Alright, we're opening it back up. Recent. Um, falls go around. Um, it's, oh, back from... The, yeah, people died and back from the dead. Oh dear. So I wonder why it breaks. I wonder why it breaks, and I wonder where it breaks down to cause the crash. I wonder how long that's been closed for, because... You know, we would have been not making as much money. People are still going on the go karts at seven fifty, so I think seven fifty is probably we're pushing it at that level. So we'll keep it like there. But how cool is that then? Three brand new rides in. We got the spiral slide, we've got the four D cinema and the go karts. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below some pretty sweet name suggestions for these brand new rides. Everyone is now loving them. We're making more money than ever before at this point right now. Park admissions was a little bit down last month, but I think that's because we had such two really good months the month before. Everyone, that's like, you know, when we kind of meet, reached our capacity and everyone started to go home. Uh, ride admissions is on the way up. It was a pretty poor month last month, but I think that's because back from the dead ride over here um, was, was, was closed the majority of that month. So if that was open, we could have, you know, made more money. Um, food and drinks is up. Souvenirs is hit and miss. But ultimately, we're making lots of money this month. Look how much money we've made so far in profit. That's crazy. Doing so well, guys. So well. So I think we're going to end over here, guys. And I hope you did enjoy this fun little episode now. The park is... We're now starting to fill in all the gaps. We've got a nice little forest going on here. Probably going to be cool to do, like, continue the forest in various spots and areas. And then every so often do like a different design. I like how this is all patterned up which looks pretty cool the go-karts is probably my favorite thing i just don't know why i just love the bit that goes over the water there and this bit that goes over the water i just don't know why i just really really like it people are loving the go-karts i hope the go-karts is worth the long uh, wait time trust me it's worth the wait time you will not be disappointed right let's see so we've got rid of all the comments about people carrying boxes now where can i get something to eat around here so it's probably worth now next episode slowly starting to build up our secondary eating or shopping area should i say we've got one here we'll throw one over there and maybe it would be worth doing one or two in various spots i don't know we'll see how things go but until next time guys i'll see you all soon so good <laughs>